what is global African citizenship? To start with, a global African citizen, to my mind, is one who does not shy away from embracing Africa's past in all its glory and gore. Like I've said elsewhere, nobody's ancestors were perfect. The ability to embrace and admit the role that some of our ancestors played alongside those who plundered us can only help us to understand the psyche of our overwhelmingly irresponsible political class today and how to effectively challenge them. Global African citizenship should also equip us to free ourselves of the shackles with the global north and their transnational corporations continue to rot in collusion with their partners in the economic south to keep us oppressed. By embracing our history, good and bad, we will recognize that there is a pattern at play here. Arab, European enslavers and colonizers would not have succeeded in enslaving and colonizing us without the collusion of some of our ancestors who were very often the traditional rulers and merchants who made their wealth through those odious trades. Right now, the economic north is in cahoots with our political elites. The difference is that rather than being shackled and carted across the Sahara or abroad across the ocean, we are shackled and kept prisoners within our countries to be exploited by the economic north through multinationals who callously continue to exploit our resources under the watch of our politicians and their cronies. Some of the unlucky ones who try and escape still end up facing death on the high seas or in the Gulf region as modern slaves. So how do we move forward? We must reconcile our past. The ethnic rivalries that made us vulnerable to religious, economic, and political exploitation by all comers are still very much with us today. Unearthing our history by ourselves, not the versions fed to us by our exploiters, will help us know where we went wrong and how to avoid making the same mistakes over and over again. The making of amends for our role in slavery is only one aspect of that process of introspection. But it is a crucial step if we are to make any headway as global Africans. Making amends for slavery does not have to be monetary. Since first, African countries are of course some of the poorest in the world because the wealth made from slavery was used to build other continents and not Africa. However, amends still have to be made for our part in slavery and slave trade because the wound that our role inflicted on those who were cut away was more psychic in that we also hurt ourselves in the process of assisting the capture and sale of our brothers and sisters. The result of the wound that we inflicted on ourselves during slavery is apparent today in the mess that the continent is in. We remain so easily exploitable today because we do not see how, like in the past, we are complicit in our destruction. Making reparations can be through acts as basic as admitting our role more openly, offering apologies to those who were taken, and opening up our borders to them. 
we also must reinstate their right to choose to return. By doing this, we will not only be making amends, but we will start a process of healing ourselves. A few African countries are already offering citizenship to Africans in the diaspora, but we all have to do so, not as a matter of doing them a favor, but as an act of contrition. Again, if as Africans we are as serious as we should be about demanding and getting reparations for slavery and colonization, then such demands can only be taken serious if we own our part and are seen to be making reparation for our role in slavery. Another thing that owning and apologizing for our parts will do is that it will undermine the arguments usually put out by the colonizers that slavery was so long ago uh, for any reparations to be made. One of the things that I'm hoping that this episode will achieve is to open up more discussions about creative ways of demanding and negotiating how reparations can and should be made. So please keep your comments coming. To round up, I believe that if we're being pragmatic, we will accept that global African citizenship, like globalization, should be driven by identity and values. Global African citizenship should not only be about how we all share a common humanity, but should underscore our equal worth. It should mean being open to engaging positively with various identities and cultures and being able to recognize and challenge stereotypes. It is unquestionably about how we use and share the Earth's resources fairly and the entrenchment of the most basic of our human rights. The right to life and liberty, freedom from all forms of slavery and torture, the right to work and education, freedom of opinion and expression, all of which most of us of, the Af of African descent are currently being denied as global citizens. Global African citizenship should help us explore the complexity of the global issues that deny us these rights so we can engage with multiple perspectives. In essence, global African citizenship should not just be an add-on to our efforts as activists, scholars, or whatever we are. It should be integral to the framework of whatever we do at the, our community, national and global levels. So how do we as global Africans commit to build our understanding of world events and how they affect us, our continent and diaspora? How do we get involved in not just our local and national but global African communities so that we can act effectively to influence the world around us? How does global African citizenship inspire and inform us as parents, teachers, community members, leaders, so our young ones are taught the power of their voice from an early age and that they must insist on using that power to build a fairer, safer, and more secure world for themselves and everyone else. How do we work to entrench the right to demand that what has been taken from us should be returned or compensated? How do we protect and explore our resources for our own development? Please share your comments and responses uh, to some of these uh, questions that I've raised. Thanks for watching the Sankofa Pan-African series. Subscribe if you've not yet done so. Turn on your notification buttons. 
share our videos with your friends and support us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Make time to also check out sankofastorybooks.com.